What's up YouTube, your amigo Nico here at Cliff Jones RV in Sealy, Texas. How to make a video. We just got in fresh from the factory, the brand new latest and greatest R-Pod, the 153. So this is the wider R-Pod body that they've been doing here lately. R-Pods have expanded to the larger sizes, but the great news about this particular one is that it is only 17 feet, six inches from the bumper to the tongue and 3,011 pounds as it sits. As you can see here, this is a super unique layout. It's got a rear entrance, which is super awesome. It is a single axle, of course, with our pod, you do have independent suspension, so it will tow like a dream. No slide, but it's still got plenty of room, perfect for a couple, and you can sleep one extra person in here as well. So starting out up front, we have an electric tongue jack, so you don't have to hand crank when you hook and unhook from your tow vehicle. Just press the button, it'll go up and down. You also have a light here, so you can see early in the morning and late at night. It has one propane tank here at Cliff Jones RV. We'll make sure that it's filled up, ready to go, so you can go camping right away when you leave after your walkthrough. We will install Deep Cycle Interstate Marine battery here. By the way, it does have a battery disconnect as well, so if you store your RV, this will not deplete your battery as fast. Also, we do have the new panoramic window here. This is a hard plastic, and it does open outward for ventilation as well. So here's the front storage compartment. It is a pass-through. As you can see, we do have an aluminum frame, which is part of the reason why the R-Pod is so strong and light. We also have a laminated sidewall as well, so it holds up much better in heavy rain and hail and has better insulation than traditional hung walls. So it has a large electric awning there, as you can see. We also have Goodyear Endurance tires, which are some of the best tires on the market as well. So that's one less upgrade that you have to worry about with owning a new RV. Here we have the windows. You'll see that they are tinted for more privacy and energy efficiency as well. We also have marine grade speakers outside. You can play music just inside, just outside or both. You also have white LEDs underneath the awning there too. So this little uh, rail here is set up for the stand that is in the pass-through storage there, that little black piece. It does also include a griddle as well that mounts on here. And you have a spray port with cold water right here as well for an outside shower. We have power connections as well. And this is the access for the fridge if you ever need maintenance. Another great thing is that the furnace exhaust is right here. So on colder days, if you have your furnace on, you can stand here and gather some warmth. We also have four stabilizers on uh, one on each corner. So it keeps your RV from rocking when you are inside. It also has a bumper as well. So you can store your sewer hose in there. LED tail lights, much brighter and safer than incandescent bulbs, so practically lasts a lifetime. This RV is also ready for a backup camera as well. If you've been following our pod for a while, you will notice that with smaller R pods, they don't have the prep for the backup camera because of the contour of the roof. Also, we do have Asdell behind the fiberglass here, so you have less than a 1% chance of delamination. It's stronger, lighter, better for the environment, and offers you better insulation as well. Full-size spare tire is included. We have a three-position door handle here. Some RVs have a tiny little plastic handle, but this one's extra large, so people of all ages can get in and out. We also have the more ride step above steps. In my opinion, the best steps on the market. Let me show you how these work. So just make sure your door's open all the way. They fold right in here. This little tab keeps it secured. And then you have this little button here. You just press it, and you can raise and lower each foot as you please. The great thing about these steps is that they're super light and there's no give when they're set up properly because the feet touch the ground. You will also notice that we do have this tempered glass door. Most of our Forest River products have gone to this, but there's no need to worry because you do have a backer just like a standard door, and you can also add a thin shade for additional privacy as well. We do have a screen door here to keep pesky Texas mosquitoes out. That just slides right over and opens up like that. Coming around this way, so this is 30 amp power. We have main power hooked up right now. We do also have a black tank flush. So the really great thing about this, whenever it comes time to dump your black tank, all you have to do is make sure your valve is open, hook up a water hose, the built-in nozzles do all the work for you. It reduces smell and gives you more accurate tank readings. We have cable and satellite prep here, the gray handles for your sink and shower, the black one is for the toilet. We also have a propane and electric six gallon rapid heat water heater. So the great thing about this dual power setup is that if you're not a propane at midnight, you can still get hot water with shore power. We have fresh water here. So all you have to do is fill up the tank and flip the 12 volt water pump switch on on the inside and you can circulate water without pressurized water. If you do have pressurized water, you just wanna hook up with the water pressure regulator here and that will give you continuous water. Here we have the other side of the pass-through storage. And a great thing about our pod is that we do have magnets on the doors, not clips. So you don't have to worry about them becoming breaking over time and it's super easy to open with one hand. So now coming to the inside,
here we are. Let me just give you a brief look and then I'll go into more detail. Bathroom is here. Kitchen is here. So we have two burner propane cooktop. TV is here. And this is the bed here. And then this is the bench uh, couch area and fridges here. So starting back uh, to the front door here, this is the radio. It's multifunction, AM, FM, Bluetooth. You have USB in as well. And as I said, outside, you can play music just inside, just outside or both. This RV is ready for solar. If you would like to add it, that is an easy install that we can do here at Cliff Jones. This is your monitor panel where you control the water heater and the water pump. All you have to do for the uh, battery, fresh, black, and gray tank is press and hold, and the diode show you from empty to full where you are. With your tanks, you want to dump it when it gets to the two-thirds mark there. Water heater, water pump, awning control, lights for the LED awning uh, lights there, porch light, interior lights. Coming back to the bathroom, here we have the toilet. This is a dry bath, so your toilet is separate from the shower. You have power outlet there, medicine cabinet here with a mirror, sink here, storage underneath the sink and a big shower. The great thing about this R pod is that it has a tub surround. So what you'll see, if you look at the very top here, a lot of RVs just have paneling, but this has this plastic shroud that protects your walls from moisture. We also have a skylight for additional headroom and natural light as well. And we also have a max air fan. What we highly recommend here at Cliff Jones is if you add a max air guard, What's great about that, especially during the summer, is that you can keep it on and open, have a window open, and it keeps it 10 to 15 degrees cooler in here versus not having it, so your RV will cool down very quickly. Also, we have a Coleman AC. What's really awesome about the R-Pods is that they are thermostat controlled. Many other RVs in this size, you just have the knobs where you turn it off and on, but this will turn off and on uh, with whatever temperature you want, just like a home. This is also how you control the furnace. So we have overhead storage here. This is the range hood. It actually works. It will vent outside. This is a two burner propane cooktop. It has a glass insert. So what you can do is utilize this for a backsplash, but also gain additional counter space. We also have a one piece undermount stainless steel sink, much more sanitary than plastic and easier to keep clean. We also have residential, residential style faucet as well. This window opens for cross ventilation. This window opens for cross ventilation. The window in the front opens for cross ventilation. And guess what? So do these other windows as well. So no problem. Uh, on those cooler days whenever you want to go off grid. So here we have the microwave. What's unique about this is that it is convection, so you can bake in it. Whenever you own an R-Pod, you really join a community. And one of the rites of passage of owning an R-Pod is baking cinnamon rolls in the microwave here. We also have a vacuum as well. It makes cleanup nice and easy. All you have to do is lift that door and sweep it into the canister. Additional storage here. Now this is a unique setup as well. It's sort of like a Murphy bed, however, it's a dinette. So let me uh, set you down for a second here. And let's go ahead and convert this bed. If I can get you to sit up there. All right, so all you have to do is pull the top off. The legs will just sit right here. And then place this top here. There you go. Go ahead and pull these little cushions out of the way. And then this folds right down for your main bed. So I'll go ahead and push these out of the way. This little bench pretty much sits as is, but these are Velcroed there and you do have storage underneath. You can access through those little nets. And then this is the front panoramic window. It does have a sunshade and then a privacy shade here on the bottom that lifts up like so. So here we have the converter. This is also where your fuses are. If you have any troubleshooting, just check your fuses. If you see a red light, it means it needs to be replaced. This is a propane electric fridge. Many brands have gone to all electric. But this is really ideal for going off grid. Fire extinguisher there, additional storage right by the door, and then plenty of overhead storage here. Okay, everybody, it's your amigo Nico here at Cliff Jones RV in Sealy. We just got it in. Be sure to contact us before it's gone. We'd love to serve you at the highest level, and we do appreciate you watching. Please like this video and subscribe. Thank you.